can see here I have my Pinterest opened up to my page. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kylie. I'm so happy that you are here today. This video is going to be so fun. I filmed it last year almost to the week like right around this time and I have changed my Pinterest so much. So as you can tell from the title, I'm doing my updated Pinterest tour and I'm answering some of your guys' questions of what I got on that video in the comments um, about how to create sections, how to move things, uh, move pins, and reorganize your Pinterest so that it's the way you want it. So I'm going to open Pinterest up here. Also if you hear anything in the background of this video, my cat is running around and playing so it's probably her. But, as you can see, I have my Pinterest opened up to my page here, and this is what it looks like. I have my profile picture that I made uh, for Pinterest specifically, so that was fun. Um, they've updated Pinterest so that I can see all my pins in one board. So, as you can see, I have 8,600 pins. So, I have... Quite a few more than last time I filmed this video. I have, I was almost at 7,000 last time I filmed. And so I have 1,600 more pins in a year, which is crazy. But I have a few more boards and I have few, I've reorganized a couple of things. So I thought I would show you guys um, in greater detail. So first, before we go into the individual boards, I wanted to show you guys, I have, I designed these uh, board covers so that they would all look the same and they kind of go down in like a gradient of color kind of um, So as you can see they all look the same except for a couple ones which are like shared boards and you can't change the um, Cover of that board if you're not the owner so that is a good thing to note So how I made these covers is I went into Canva you can do this on your phone iPad computer whatever you have and I found this template that had like the search bar icon that I really liked and so I typed in the title of my board in there and then I just um, changed the color very slightly as I went down each board and then when I add a new board I just try to match the color of where it would be in between the other two that it is I guess if that makes sense and then I that's how I made them and so <laughs> They're all very cohesive. I like how it looks and I just thought I'd throw that in there. We have the first board which is my 21 and plus board. Uh, it's pretty much all alcoholic drinks that I want to try when I turn 21 this December. So that'll be very exciting. My next board, uh, Vintage Lifestyle. I still have just kind of, I've added a, a couple to it but not too much. It's all the same kind of vibe. So that hasn't changed very much. Then I have my backgrounds board. I've added a few to this one as well. Just different backgrounds that I like um, or that I want to use for my iPhone um, at some point or my desktop. So those are kind of mixed. I got a comment on my last video that I should make this board public and so I did. It was private before because I didn't think anyone would want to see it but apparently y'all do so I <laughs> made it public and then this uh, aesthetic board I have organized into sections before it was just one big aesthetic board because um, I mainly had one but now I have different sections for multiple aesthetics as you can see I have the cover down here and then one pin that doesn't fit into any of the sections so I just left it out I started one for dark academia but I haven't pinned anything in there yet I have cottage core space uh, which is all obviously to do with space and aliens and all that sort of thing. Um, and then we have a vintage aesthetic. We have blue aesthetic because for some reason I have a lot of blue pins in here. So I just put them all in there. And then we have a neon aesthetic uh, which is just self-explanatory at this point. So those are all my aesthetic boards. And... I want to take this time, since these are um, some sections that I have, to show you guys how you can easily 
um, move pins or organize them if you want to change sections. So let's say I want to take a pin from Cottagecore and move it into Dark Academia because I accidentally put it there. Click Organize up here. That's what I like to do. It's easier. So you click Organize and then you select the pin that you want to move. You can select multiple. I think you can do up to 50 at a time. So if you're moving like a lot of pins, that's something to note. You're going to have to do them in sections, but that's totally fine. So let's just say I want to move this pin, and then I click this little icon down here, and then it tells me where I can move it. So I want it in my Dark Academia board, and then it's moving it. So now I can go in here, and it's there. So I'm going to move it back because it doesn't belong there, but that is how you guys can reorganize your boards and sections uh, if it ever came to that. So that is something good to note. Moving on, we have my artistic board. It's just art that I like. And then we have my cinematic lifestyle. I have a thousand and one hundred pins in here. And before I had sections, but then I decided that I was either going to put every movie into sections or have them all be one. And I wanted a more cohesive um, look to that, so I got rid of the sections. I just took all the pins from each section, put them into the board itself, got rid of the sections themselves, so they're all still in here. So moving on to my Christmas board. I've been pinning in this one a lot because it literally snowed all day yesterday. We had a huge snowstorm. We got a couple inches of snow. That's outside. Love that. Um, but I've been pinning in this one lately. So this is all just Christmas snow stuff that makes me think of the holidays. Uh, makes me really happy and I pin in that board a lot around this time of year so next board we have my character aesthetics I've added a few sections to this so I have all these sections for different characters that I wanted to create like kind of a mood board for it's not productive at all but it's just something that is fun for me to do I guess we have a lot of the characters from Riverdale we have uh, Dana and Fox from the X-Files and then I've added Cher from Clueless and then I added uh, both Bella and Edward from Twilight recently and by recently I mean yesterday <laughs> so and then I have my cover in here it's not in a section because it doesn't belong to any of the sections so if I ever want to add more let's say I wanted to add to Edwards I can click into the section and go to more ideas and that's a really easy way to add pins really quickly because you don't have to click the button to Set, save the pin and then choose what board and what section to put it in. This way you just hit the plus and it goes right into the certain section that you want. So if I wanted to add, let's say I want to add this one, I can just click the plus um, and then it literally is just saved into that specific section. So that's another tip that I have. It's much easier for me um, in that way and it's really nice when I have nine sections, eight sections in my boards because then I can save them easier. Moving on to a cuteness overload. Uh, this is all just <laughs> cute puppies and kittens and anything that makes me go, oh, that's cute. Next I have my Costa Life. I pinned in this one a lot in the summer so my feed is not uh, full of it as much during this time of year. It's more in the summer but uh, it's all things that have to do with the ocean. This is a new board since my last one, but it's called Dicey and it has to do with all beautiful Dungeons and Dragons dice. Um, they're literally so pretty. I want all of these dice, but I don't even have a campaign to play in, so that would be kind of a dumb way to spend my money, but I just think these are so pretty, so I started a board for it, because why not? But the next one, I do use a lot, and I have fall, y'all. So this fall board, I have one section in here for Halloween stuff, because I feel like that's more obviously centralized towards the holiday and not the season itself, and so I thought that needed to be separate. But uh, we have All Hallows Eve in here, and it's all things to do with Halloween and different treats to do, um, stuff to do for parties, like costumes, things like that. Whereas the fall board is just, whereas this board is just mainly leaves and like bonfires and hot cups of warmth and <laughs> anything that makes me think of fall, essentially. Um, moving on to food, this is 
quite self-explanatory. I don't know why I'm going in depth with all this, but uh, this is food <laughs> in my food board, I know. Uh, I don't have this one organized in two sections at all because it's all just kind of random food uh, recipes that I want to try, so that's that one. Future manifestations. These are all pins that I hopefully want to see in my future sometime. <laughs> We're brand. Um, moving on, I have my friendlies board. This is all friend stuff. Things that make me lonely when I look at them, you know. Then I have my friendship bracelet board. I haven't posted in this one in a while. I posted a lot in it for my, when I worked at summer camp because friendship bracelets were like literally all I was doing. But um, I haven't been making them as often. So this is just stuff about friendship bracelets. And then this gift ideas one is private because those were gifts that I was gonna make for my friends. So I'm not showing them. Um, but the next one is Greenage, which when I was making the covers, I found it so funny how I was randomly doing the different gradients and the greenage one just landed on green. I just thought that was great. But <laughs> this is how to keep plants alive, different pots, different kind of just green stuff, I guess, in general. So this is the hair board. Uh, it's just different ideas, cuts, colors, things to do with my hair. It's getting long. Probably gonna cut it off soon, <laughs> but so I've been looking recently at uh, short hairstyles. But yeah, these are all just different. Back when I wanted color hair, that was such a phase of my life. I really, really wanted to dye my hair, but I never did. So I lived it out on Pinterest. <laughs> but my next one is Good Morning Gamers. Uh, I've added sections to this one, kind of organized it. So some of these uh, pins that are down here didn't really fit into a section for like a certain game. They're just specific like gaming like not memes but kind of like pictures I guess that have to go with gaming and then for ones for specific games I put into sections so I have one for Stardew Valley I have a Minecraft one I have a D&D &D one and most recently I started a Sims one which is different layout for houses um, different ideas for exteriors and building and things like that so I have them all kind of organized into sections by game next we have graphics um, a couple of these I made myself, like this Haley one, um, these triangles, um, these ones down here I made, but um, a lot of the other things are just like tutorials about how to do um, certain things uh, with graphics and how to make them look cool. So that's my graphics board. Moving on to humorous, we have uh, all these pins that just make me laugh. They're funny things. They're I don't know if you'd call them memes or what you'd call them, but they're here and they're funny. And then we have Health is Wealth, which is, um, I moved the essential oils and workout sections from my beauty and health board into this one. And then we have one for Homey Touches. This is like my second biggest board and they're all organized into sections here. So we have an exterior section, we have a section for living rooms, bedrooms, kitchen, bath, office, and then I have pools, porches, and patios all together because they're all kind of outside in the same kind of area in the house and then I have an organization slash miscellaneous board where I kind of put anything else that doesn't fit into those other categories and then we have the cover down here but this one is like my pride and joy I love this board so much I spent so much time working on it moving on I have my inked board it's all about uh, different tattoos and then I have my I do board it's all about wedding stuff so I have this one organized into sections as well I have uh, the decor, the ring, the dress, and the venue. Um, I haven't finished moving some of the pins into the sections, so I guess I can show you guys how to do that. So um, these are ones that have to do with the venue, so if I organize them, I can select these. You can add a section down here, or you can add them to an existing section. So I'm just going to go down, find I do, and I'm going to put them in. The venue. Apparently I have double pins. So I can show you how to delete a pin because I have two of the same one in here. So if you go to organize again, you select this one, you can just delete it. Um, and then it's easy as that. That's all you need to do to delete a pin. Um, next board is a board that Jenica and I like have together. She made it for me and then I made a board for her, um, which is the one that's called Jenica. So that's really cute. It's just like pins that make us think of each other and I love it. Um, so that's Kylie's board and then Jenica's over here. But in between those I have my It Was All Yellow. This is basically just a yellow aesthetic board. Uh, I could move it into my aesthetics, but I like that it's its own thing right now. 
I might move it um, as into being a section in my aesthetics board, but we'll see. And then I have an entire board for Leonardo DiCaprio. Not sorry. He's a good man to look at. Moving on, we have my liquid gold uh, coffee board. This is literally all coffee. Hot coffee, iced coffee, coffee from stores, literally you name it, it's there. Next I have my outfits board. I have them organized somewhat. So yeah, I have a lot of outfits down here. I found that Pinterest is a great place uh, for body positivity and mid-size clothing. If you look that up, if you have like a mid-size body type, uh, it has been a game changer for me because I've always been in this weird space where I'm not quite small so I don't really look like the models but I'm not plus size either and so mid-size is perfect <laughs> and it makes me feel happy. Next we have OG which is all pictures that I took that I thought were Pinterest worthy and then I have quotes in here. I've had this board I think the longest out of all of them. I created it like right when I first started Pinterest. Next I have my personality board which I took the um, Enneagram test and I found out that I was a type 1. So I made a Pinterest board all about for being type 1. And then also the Myers-Briggs test. I'm a INFJ and so I save a lot of pins that have to do with the personality tests, um, things that I think resonate with how I see myself, and so that's a fun board to have. And then I have an entire board for Robert Pattinson. I love this man. Uh, I'm not sorry. Just take a gander. Take a look at this. Next we have my See the World board. This is all like travel stuff, places that I want to go, things I want to see. Uh, diff different fun stuff like that. Um, then I have my X-Files board. <laughs> it's, it's a big board. Uh, like I said, I had an X-Files phase, so this is a direct correlation with that. Uh, but I still post in here. I added pins in there yesterday, so. So another way that you can move pins, you can like click on this, click edit, and then you can move boards. I do that as well. It's kind of easier when a pin is in the entire wrong board like this one is, I just found. Moving on, we have Summer Vibes. Summer Vibes is more about like lakes and spending time with friends and like jet skiing and just spending time outside, different things that aren't really coastal but still remind me of summer. Basically everything that 2020 summer was not. Then I have a board for when I grow up. It's all just kind of like adulting things and... <laughs> how to stay safe out there and all that fun stuff like things to do for your kids whatever it's kind of a mix and then I have a writing board with one section of types of like types of characters and people to write about but for the most part um, all the writing stuff is just in here how to write certain times of day or how to write a script treatment because I had to do that for uh, class this semester. Actually three of my classes all required me to create a treatment so I really got that process down but um, writing stuff goes in there. Then I have one for music. Uh, this is obviously music that I like. That is my music board. I've had this one for a very long time as well. A girl named Amelia she invited me to her collab board. Um, she found me from my YouTube actually, so Amelia if you're watching this, hello. But this is her collab board. She has a bunch of different people in here. And basically you can add anything that you want in here. So people have added different aesthetics things. They've added different, um, looks like planet pictures. Uh, just, I don't know, it's all, it's really, it's cool because everyone's Pinterest is so different. It's all curated to you personally and things that you've pinned before. And I really love the idea of having a collab board because you have all these different people with different Pinterests adding to one board. And so it can be very eclectic and I like that. So that is the collab board. Then my last one that I have that is not archived is my love board and this one is not very big but uh, it's all about being in love which and that is all my boards. That was crazy long <laughs> but I hope you guys 
got some good knowledge from this video um, about organizing things and how to create sections and moving pins and different things like that. Like I said, I got a lot of comments on my last video that I made about this, about those things. So I thought I'd answer them uh, while also showing you how I have updated my pins and boards since last year. So. That being said, thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. If you got all the way to the end, comment down below your Pinterest and I will follow you 100%. Like I love following people on Pinterest and seeing different pins, like I said. I love seeing how everyone organizes their own uh, Pinterest uh, boards and things like that. So if you did like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already, subscribe down below. So many of my people that watch these videos are not subscribed. so. Please make sure you do that. Stick around. I am growing so much on this channel and I love where I'm headed. So, so yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. And I will see you guys in Monday's video. Bye.